in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of confusion. The worker will initially ignore you, but if you wait for one minute, she will rise and motion for you to follow her. After following her down a series of dimly lit hallways, you will come to a dead end corridor with no doorways. The worker will motion to the end of the hallway and promptly leave you without a word. You must walk to the end of the hallway without speaking a word. Once you reach the end, place your hands upon the wall to reveal that it is an illusion which you may walk through. If you are scared or unsure of what is behind the wall when you step through or have any doubts at all, you will simply walk off the plane of existence forever, never to be heard from again. But if you believe in yourself and believe answers lie beyond the wall, when you step through, you will appear in a bright white room with so many paths. Some lead into the distance, others appear to lead nowhere at all, yet others appear to defy understanding and lead to suffering that only the most damnable of all souls can comprehend. The path you seek is the one that lies ahead of you. It appears to continue on for eternity. When walking, you must say nothing no matter how long the trip appears to take, and should the room begin to darken halfway through your trip down the path, your only option is to sit down and weep silently, for you are now nothing more than nourishment for the most grotesque and cursed demon of them all. However, if the room remains an almost unfathomably perfect white, your trip down the path will be without peril, and you will safely come to a door. At this point, you need do nothing, as the door opens to you to reveal a room which appears an impossibility. It is not big, but not small, not lit, but not dark. It appears to be everything and nothing. Equals and opposites are meaningless in this room. It is said that most who enter are driven to a maddening insanity and begin to claw their own flesh off or disembowel themselves with their bare hands, all while laughing maniacally, never dying. This will be their fate for eternity. Should you manage to not be driven to insanity, you will notice a nondescript figure standing in the center of the madness. It appears to be human, yet at the same time, something much more hellish. You will not be able to comprehend this entity visually, but you must not repulse at its sight, nor can you say anything to it. It will begin to speak to you in many events, some of which you know are true, others you know are lies, some of which you are unsure of. The entity will become increasingly agitated that you are ignoring its nonsense. You must refrain from saying anything at all until the entity falls silent briefly and then asks, what would you do? if they were all brought together. To this, you must very firmly reply, everything that you would do, including what you wouldn't. The entity will stare at you blankly for a moment. If it doesn't believe you, it will simply walk away and leave you there, forever in darkness. If it does believe in you, however, it will reach out its hand and give you a small, seemingly immaterial glowing object. This 
is the beast's resolve. That is object 37 of 538. No matter how indecisive you are, no matter how unsure the world becomes, you alone must know what to do if they all come together.